During World War II, more than three million Americans were brought to the British Isles to defend the liberty and democracy of the United States and its allies. Since then, thousands more continue to serve here, working every day to preserve peace alongside these same allies and our brothers and sisters in arms. On Memorial Day, we pay tribute to the service members of our past and present who have selflessly made the ultimate sacrifice. Cambridge American Cemetery became a symbol of our nation's sacrifice and is a sacred meeting place to remember our shared past with Great Britain. The partnerships forged more than 75 years ago remain today as U.S. Air Forces in Europe continues its commitment to European allies and partners. In many ways, the service members at this cemetery and others are just like you and me. They were young, motivated, and had big dreams to serve their country and make the world a better place. No matter the unit or time period, we can trace our roots as airmen to these heroes. You can stand by their grave sites and read their names on the wall of the missing. Your fellow wingmen, some still yet to be found, who gave their lives to light the way for what you do today. Let their legacy serve as your motivation to continue the cause for which they died and continue to light the way. First Lieutenant Sidney Dunnigan was a pilot of a C-47 Skytrain in the 314th Troop Carrier Group stationed in England during World War II. On D-Day, the 314th Troop Carrier Group tasked with carrying airborne troops to the Normandy battlefield. Lieutenant Dunnigan's aircraft crossed the drop zone, releasing many of their airborne troops, but because of anti-aircraft fire, he wasn't able to keep the aircraft very steady. As the aircraft departed the drop zone and departed the flak zone, the crew chief aboard the aircraft came forward and told Lieutenant Dunnigan that two airborne soldiers had not managed to jump out. And at that moment, Lieutenant Dunnigan made the decision to circle back over the drop zone and back into the flak to drop those two airborne soldiers. During the second pass, anti-aircraft flak hit the aircraft and Lieutenant Dunnigan was mortally wounded. The co-pilot took control, flew the aircraft back to England, but sadly, Lieutenant Dunnigan was killed in action that day over the Normandy battlefield. Today, Lieutenant Dunnigan is buried and commemorated at Cambridge American Cemetery. The American Battle Monuments Commission will never forget Lieutenant Dunnigan's heroism and sacrifice. Second Lieutenant Catherine Price was a medical evacuation nurse during World War II and her mission was to attend to wounded service members during air evacuation from the European Theater of Operations to the U.S. Catherine flew aboard a C-47 Skytrain. This aircraft was equipped with 18 litters for patients who had been wounded in battle and were returning to the United States for specialty medical treatment. After D-Day, Allied service members who had been wounded in action were evacuated from the front lines to hospitals in England. The U.S. command took the decision to bring many of our American wounded soldiers back to the United States for specialty treatment. On 26 July 1944, Catherine boarded a C-47 bound for the United States. The aircraft took off from England and it made it to Reykjavik, Iceland. However, after leaving Reykjavik, the aircraft was never seen or heard from again. Today, Catherine is listed and commemorated at Cambridge American Cemetery on the walls of the missing. American Battle Monuments Commission will never forget Catherine's sacrifice.